Good morning everybody and welcome back to another Suri Chase video. Guys, I can't believe it. We've almost made it to Labor Day. Ah, yes. And the fact that we're all the way through the year and it's Labor Day now blows my mind. I am so excited that I've been able to continue doing YouTube and you guys are still coming back for more information and more Subi Shaves videos, guys. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much, guys. I just wanted to have a huge shout out to everybody here this morning. Thank you so much for being here today, guys. You guys rock and you guys are the really the reason that I'm doing all this and I can't even express to you guys how excited and how um, energetic and how happy that makes me to have you guys here. Okay. Without further ado, guys, let's talk about it. Let's look again at the mechanical wonder that is the Wilkinson Empire Razor, guys. This thing, the Wilkinson Sword Empire is just absolutely incredible. I love these little jaws that pop up, guys. The little jaws that just fling up, right, are just so cool. This is really like a piece of mechanical engineering that just blows my mind. Look at how many pieces move with this, guys. Look at, <laughs> look. Look how many pieces just go crazily moving. Like you got this piece that toggles with this screw. You've got the little mouth that opens up and closes on your blade. You've got this little teeny tiny lever mechanism, like an abacus that slides back and forth. Huh? Look how cool this thing is. I also wanted to mention, I forgot to mention it in my last video, that this little roller bar also rolls, guys. Look at how it rolls. Everything on this razor either moves, slides, it just is, it's fantastic. And we're going to use it again today for a second time with a different blade hack. Come on in guys. That's what's going on. And it's going to be fantastic. We're doing a face shave today. And the reason why is I am saving a head shave for tomorrow where we're going to do a duel. It's going to be a dual head shave with the twig thorn against something. I haven't decided what, maybe the focus evolution dynamic, who knows what's going to be happening, but the Thor is going against something else. And it's going to be awesome for S.E. Timber, right? S.E. Timber! And I just want to mention again, thank you guys so much. All right, let's get into this. We're using Renegade Shave Cream as the pre-shave. We're going to be using Amber Rose as part of the pit-up series that um, is going on for A&E right now. And Amber Rose, guys, if you have not smelled this, it is very basic for me. It smells like amber. And rose, if you can't imagine. And honestly, I those scents are pretty like soft. Because amber to me is usually pretty soft, and so is rose. Like kind of and the combine the combination of the two is very nice. And it doesn't scream like I don't know, old old lady. Like I just I, I hate to say it like that, but there's like a certain scent that just makes my nose go, oh. It smells like like an old folks home. It does not smell like an old folks home. It smells very nice. It's very uh, it's a little bit floral and a little bit sweet. And I really like that. I think it's a nice pairing. Today to go on top of that, guys, because it is full timber, right? It is September up in this house. We're using Achilles. My buddy Charles sent this to me. Van Hule makes this splash. Van Hule, guys, um, they also make really cool bowls. They, they make a lot of stuff. If you've not smelled Achilles, guys, it smells like that orange, cinnamon, spice, cardamom. It smells like that quintessential, right? That, that the embodiment of fall to me. It smells like... Like potpourri almost, but not like a nice potpourri. I can't get over it. And it is strong. Like you open it up, you can smell it over here. Like, woo! And my buddy Charles sent me this and he's like, you can smell that from far away. Yeah, this is like a 13. And you guys actually can see it separates inside the bottle. You guys see all that stuff in there? Look at this. It separates. You want to shake this up when you use it. That's cinnamon, I'm pretty sure. That's like straight cinnamon. Potent stuff, guys. Potent stuff. And it comes from Van Hule. And my buddy Charles is the one that sent it to me. And I really like it. And we're going to be finishing that, guys, with our beautiful uh, symmetric pottery that came from Char uh, that came from uh, Jeremy. Man, I can't believe it. Like, they, you guys have just been so great to this channel. And we've got our lather already worked up, guys. Look at this. Oh, you guys want to smell? Absolutely beautiful smell, guys. Beautiful smell from the Amber Rose. Oh, just great stuff here from uh, Peter. Great stuff over from A&E. Look at that. Look at that. I know we don't talk about lather, but it's going to be so nice. And I wanted to mention, guys, this is uh, AP Shave Co. Ever Ready brush that um, my really good friend, uh, Colin Claffin, he restores these and he sent me this. And if you guys have some that you wanted or have restored or have a different brush put in, maybe you want to have it, you know, polished up or have extra weight added to it. He does all of that, and his link is below, along with my other affiliate link. 
which is Leaf going on our third month with a Leaf as our uh, backing brand. Can't tell you guys uh, how happy I am that they're still here with us because honestly, they're the reason that I'm doing this at all, right? Leaf is the original product that got me into wet shaving. I still love them. I still absolutely um, push for them because I believe that they're really doing something that's unique and outside the box, which is what I love to you know do here. And on top of that, guys, when I, when I paired them against other razors, I've not found something I like more. So tomorrow again, we're doing a pairing, we're doing a battle. So come for that. All right, let's get into it. Let's get a shave on and let's do it with the Wilkinson sword. Let me show you guys what I've got going on here today. So we've had Brian send us this from eBay, right? Brian said, hey, Subi Shaves, can you get this working? I showed yesterday how to get this working with an injector blade, but that may be hard to come by for some people. I know what I mentioned on Facebook. I didn't get a lot of um, traction. I had a lot of people push back and say, ah, injector blades, expensive, hard to get my hands on, and I don't have any. Guys, that's totally fine. That is 100% fine. Today, we're going to do a different shave with a different upgrade, okay? We're going to be using DE blades. We're going to be using DE blades with this, guys. DE Bladeroonies with the Wilkinson Sword Empire. And the way you're going to make that work, guys, is very simple. Get yourself a gem spine, okay? What you do is you take your gem blade, you put it in a little bit of pliers, you push it like this and this part comes right off, right? Just slides right off. And I've done a couple videos on that. My one blade video shows that. If you guys want to watch that, there's tons of videos on how to define your giant blade. I'm not going to waste your time doing that. But what I want to show you guys is you take this piece and then you take your DE blades, okay? What I've done is I've cut the wings off of these blades, right? There's two of them here. What? I cut two blades off, guys. Um, I've uh, The wings off of one blade and then I cut it down the middle. So I have an even cut, right? I actually chose to have the blades completely the same size and that's paramount because they're gonna be sitting in that spine. So you want them to be the exact same size. Okay, that's critical. You need these blades to be the exact same size from the wings on, okay? You, you have to have these exactly the same size. Uh, you can also buy um, pre-cut blades, right? You can buy saloon blades to make this work and you never have to make a cut other than on the sides, right? You have to remove the wings. But after you've done that, guys, all you do is you just take that blade and you slide it right in to your gem backer piece. And the cool thing is a lot of us, um, we despine gems uh, to use our valets, to, um, you know, we use the one blade. A lot of us use, the, we just throw these little um, spines away. And this is a cool opportunity to use something that you may have laying around that just usually goes in the garbage can. There you guys go. Nice and easy. And you can see right here, guys, check this out. Perfect, right? Absolutely flawless little blade. And here's the trick to this, guys. This razor is going to be a little bit too, um, and I'm doing two blades in there for a reason. It's going to be too wide, right? The, the spine is going to be too thick. So if you stack two blades in there, it holds a little bit more tight. And then what I've done is I've bent mine just a little bit. I just take this like this and just bend it a little bit. Just bend it ever so slightly. And what that's going to do, guys, is it's going to give you... Um, a little bit of uh, friction in between the pressure plate that we're gonna sh we're gonna load up. So what you guys do is you just take this right here, and you guys you probably have noticed I have a little cut on my hand from breakfast this morning. Not from this. <laughs> I did it with breakfast this morning, being an idiot, um, trying to unload the dishwasher. So genius me on a shave day, cut the finger that I eat the most. So uh, just just if you guys would just uh, ignore that for a second. Here we go. Here's the gem blade. Here's the gem blade with DE blades stacked inside of it. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take this and slide it right in here. Slide it right in. And that's how this, this really works. Um, it's very simple. And then we're going to flip this open and let you guys see how it looks like this. So you guys can see how that like kind of loads in right there. Then you take this little piece right here, the little abacus piece, and you just slide that over. That's it. Now, I want to mention one other thing I noticed. Uh, you want to make sure this is nice and flush on the inside. When you're when you're locking it down, that's the same goes for if you're using an OEM blade. Even in this, you have to make sure it's nice and, and level. Um, and then when you guys load it up, here's the other thing I wanted to mention here today. When you guys load it up and it's sitting like this, okay, it's sitting like this. There's a couple things you can do. So we tighten this bottom piece down here, right? This we tighten it down. Now it's tight. So if you do this, it's not wiggling around, right? It's not going anywhere. And that's, that's absolutely what we want to see. That's exactly, this will shave just like this. And you can see how much gap is on that blade bar, 
Right now, this is on its most mild setting. I have it all the way adjusted back. And what we're going to do is we, if we press this little button back here, if we press the adjustment wheel, what this is going to do is it's going to move. Watch this. I want to show you guys this. You see how it's kind of getting wonky in there? That's what we want to avoid. So what I've done is I've grabbed some tweezers here, guys, and I'm just going to straighten it out. And there we go. So if you want to push down, have it get kind of pressed around, move around a little bit, and then readjust it so it's nice and level and straight. That works really well. That's what I've been doing. And this is, again, with two DE blades, guys, two DE blades. And what I'm finding is in the most mild setting, it's not going to cut anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this out by screwing, it, uh, unscrewing the little nodule in the back, the little knob to the left. And what we want is right there for me. You guys see where that blade's sitting? Kind of on the blade bar. And what I recommend, guys, is if you're going to do this, go very slow. Go adjust as you go. Kind of take a swipe, fill it, adjust. And it feels weird with the roller bar kind of moving because um, what you're going to experience is a moving sensation from the bar, not from the blades. And that kind of took my brain a few seconds to realize it was the bar moving and not the blades. Not a problem. It's what it's meant to do that. And it, it, it does that for a purpose, right? It, it, it's supposed to make it feel smoother. And I'm just taking my tweezers right now, guys, and I'm just double checking. Everything is sitting nice and tight. And you wanna make sure that when you're doing this, this is the process you're following. I know That's all we do. So I just kind of got it all adjusted, guys. That's all I did is I just kind of straightened everything out. I made sure everything looks good. And then I'm going to adjust it just back a little bit. Just like this. That's easy. It's done. And you guys, want? I want to show this. I want to mention this. I, want to, I actually want to show this on camera. If you take your tweezers and you're moving the, if you put the tweezers or whatever you're using on your blades, you, ideally you would do this with something plastic, right? like um, cardboard. You want to make sure that this razor blade's not moving around on you. Okay, that is the critical thing here. I took an extra couple seconds, guys, to make sure that this is not moving around on us while we shave today. That's it. So I know it took a couple extra seconds. I apologize for that. I, I haven't been speeding it up because I feel like it's important for you guys to see it. And that's that's really it, guys. You just want to make sure that blade's not going anywhere, it's not moving around, and that everything's nice and flush. Otherwise, you could end up with an accident. Okay, that is it. We are ready to shave with a DE blade inside of the Wilkinson sword. And again, I'm doing this partially because Brian reached out to me and said, hey, Subi Shaves, can you make it work with a different blade, which I've been dying to do. But also, guys, because um, a lot of people do not want to strop and take care of the original blades. Along with that right? DE blades are, so there's a lot of them and there's a lot of options with them. And I feel like if we can make a DE blade offering work, it can make the razor more appealing. So that's all we did. We just used the gem back spine, made sure it had enough pressure from the spine to keep the toggle switch tight. And then we also made sure that our blades aren't moving around and that they're nice and tight inside of the actual spine. They're not moving. And then we also double checked our gap that everything was nice and flush and level. Takes a couple extra steps. Let's see how it does. Let's see how it does. And again, this is a razor you don't want to be shaving like this. So valet razors, guys, I shave like this. But this razor you want to shave more like this. And it is very efficient like this. But not like uncomfortably efficient. It's cool because you feel the, the blade guard, guys. You actually feel that little circular blade guard moving with it, which is really rad. And this is, these perma sharps is what I'm using, guys. Two stacked perma sharps. Subi sandwiched, if you will. And guys, what do we call this on this channel? An SC slash D or a DE slash S? Awesome. Awesome shit. And I kind of am angry at Brian right now because now that I've used this, I need to find me one. There you guys go. Because how good it shaves. It's such a good shaver. Right, that's the key for me is I don't want to have um, 
like a five o'clock shadow after I'm done shaving. I do shave to BBS. That is something I do. I know a lot of people coach against that. I've heard that coached against several times. I am, I'm shaving to have a BBS shave, right? That is what I'm doing it for. And if it's not BBS, I just don't feel like it's worth it. So there you guys go. BBS shave, Wilkinson sword, DE razor. What? That's right. That's how we do it. That's it. That's get, get jazz, get stoked. And the fact that it's, uh, it takes a couple extra steps isn't really that big of a problem for me. I wish I got to keep it for a little longer. There's a lot of things I have been noodling on, kind of thinking about. I think I could do a couple extra other things, but I'm going to get it back to Brian really fast. But I really, really would like to get my hands on one and continue tinkering around because it's a fun razor to use. It's really kind of, it's it's got this weird little personality to it, right? It's like this weird steampunk fun person. It's like shaving with a toaster. It's just so fun. Here we go. Like a very vintage toaster. Oh, look at that. Just knocking it down, guys. Knocking it down. It may take you a few extra tries to learn how to use this because of the head size. Sorry, my morning turned on. Um, the head size definitely throws things out of balance a little bit. But it is just fun as it comes to use. Check it out. You know what's funny? I can smell the Van Hule Achilles in my bathroom right now, just opening it up. Oh, great shave. Absolutely fantastic. And it does have just this really nice feel to it. It doesn't feel super like aggressive or overly efficient, but it definitely knocks it down. It reminds me a lot. Okay, guys, I don't, don't flame me here. This is just my thoughts. My opinions here, second day in a row, it reminds me of shaving with the um, Ronson, okay? I feel like the Wilkinson sword is like a sidestep from the Ronson. It's different, has a completely different vibe, but at the same time, you're like, yeah, these are both so unique. This could be a Ronson shave. Oh, I love it, guys. I love that shave. Love that shave, guys. Look at this. Look at the What? That's right. That's how we did done it. That's how we did done it, man. Oh, love that shave. Love that shave. Brian, thank you so much for making this possible, man. Oh, this has been fantastic today. What a cool opportunity to use something that is from the mid-40s. Mid-40s here, guys. That it just shaves like it came off the factory line today. Shaves maybe better than what if it came off the line today. And I think when you compare it, right, you set it side by side with the valet razor. This really does stack up and so it really does... Um, compete and compare with the valet, if not be a little bit better of a shaver than the valet. Just because it like has so much dynamic uh, function to it. I feel like the English took the valet concept that, that, you know, that was being done in Canada and in uh, you, the USA and just tweaked it and made it a little bit better. I love this. I think it's awesome. I think it's fantastic. I'm going to get me one. I got to get me one, Brian. This is great. Let's, ch let's check it out. See how it does in the neck. I said this yesterday, but I feel like the neck part of this is a little bit more difficult to get the right angle. Like you end up coming at a more steep angle with the with the razor blade just because it's hard to get your neck. But look at all that stubble back there. Stubble killing it, dude. Stubble killing it. And because of how we have it, guys, check this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna run it back a little bit, and we're gonna do a nice against the get uh, get one more pass. But we're gonna do it with a more mild setting. That's all we did. We just I just sat it back and just I, I worked it back. Look how much blade gap I was able to um, open up. Let's try it one more time. The blade reveal goes right back. It just it really provides a really amazing shape. And there we go. Can you guys hear that clicking? That clicking is the blade bar rolling. OK, 
Okay, what you're hearing is not the blades moving, it's the blade bar rolling, guys. It's this little piece in front rolling around. What a cool razor. What an absolute monster razor. Oh, beautiful experience, guys. Beautiful. Today's an Allen day. Today is an Allen day. Let's see how we did. Oh, beautiful. Feels really nice. Um, considering the fact that I had a bad run in with the Durham <laughs> on a private shave, um, this has been a really nice treat using something that's so um, comfortable. And look at this. This is my alum stick, guys. <laughs> I love when you get a shave that's that comfortable, right? Oh. Again, we're, we're throwing on the alum. And there's just no pain, no problems. Look at this. Beautiful shave with DE blades, guys. DE blades. And I love the fact that, like, second pass, I was able to work, run it back. And I'm going to mention this. When you guys are adjusting these, if you end up getting one and you're adjusting this, okay, if you're lucky and you end up getting one, um, like, I, like I, or you have a friend like Brian in the world, you know, that is willing to let you try one out, adjust with your settings really slow. I like to work it all the way out and then kind of go back just a little bit. But like you'll notice like one turn will change the razor drastically. One little turn. Yeah, it's like one, two turns and you're like going from a, a, a nine on a fat boy down to like a seven. Okay, that's how much adjustment you're getting with those turns. Micro adjustments with it. Micro adjustments. There's no numbers. There's no um, way to really track how it's doing. So you have to kind of track that yourself. And I find it to be absolutely fantastic with just a couple couple tweaks, you know, just go down on one setting. Oh, Van Hule, man, Van Hule, up in the house. Oh, it's smelling good, guys, smelling good. It does burn. I think has all that cinnamon in there. It's got like a, a warming burn, but it's like a fall set and we're almost there, guys. We are almost there. I can't believe it, fall is coming. Yes, the best time of the year. Thank you guys so much for being here for this. I'm going to shoot on a little bit of Aquadigio, just because I can, because I think it smells delicious. And we're going to catch up later. You guys rock. Bye, guys!